This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 61, and it reads, And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Brakthiyahwa, brakthiyahwa shai. Brakthiyahwa, brakthiyahwa shai. Brakthiyahwa, brakthiyahwa shai. Kala la limla, ala hayanawa, yahawa, bahashem, yahwa shai, bahashem, rakaha kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach one of the world who taught me this truth. Peace. And salutation to the Aki and the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth, the risk of the whole lives, truth the four corners of the earth. To the Aki with listening, listening, and learning. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here another lesson. And uh, we'll get right into it. Various topics, just some articles that are going on. We'll read the headlines, maybe a paragraph or two. And then, Lord willing, we'll attach some scripture as they come to mind. Second Ezra, chapter 8, verse 61, once again, and it reads, And therefore is my judgment now at hand, right, the Lord's visiting this place. Verse 62, These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, right, the prophet Ezra, right, the Most High reveals the secrets to everybody, right, but unto thee and a few like thee, then answered I and said, right, so the Most High is only dealing with his men. Amos chapter 3, verse 7, and it reads, Surely the Lord power, right, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret. Unto his servants, the prophets, right? The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is only dealing with his men. And a few like thee. It says here in 2nd Ezra, I have not showed, let me read it from the beginning. 2nd Ezra 8 verse 62. These things have I not showed unto all men, right? So two thirds of our people ain't going to get it, man. Right? And these heathen nations is not for them. Right? The only thing, the only thing, <laughs> the only thing you, you tell the heathen nations is where they're going and what their lot is. In the grand scheme of things, right? But repentance is not for them, right? So two thirds of the people ain't gonna get it. They're gonna continue going. They're gonna scoff, right? These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee, right? Lord willing, we are of that number, the hopeful elect. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times, right? And we're in those times, the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Right. Next chapter. Second Ezra 9, verse 1, and it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right. Diligently measuring the times. Right. It's the, it's the, it's the elect, the hope for the elect, Lord willing, we are of that number watching. Diligently watching for what? The prophecies. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, right, when you see some of these signs happening, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? And we are in these times watching, being circumspect, watching. Right? Standing on our watch. Right? Watching for the watching for the signs. Right? And we know in the scripture. We know in the scripture certain things were told. To our, to our forefathers, 
what to look out for. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, verse 1, verse 9, it reads, The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, right? What has happened before will happen again. And that which is done is that which shall be done, right? It's going to happen again. History repeats itself. And there is no new thing under the sun, right? So we have that understanding that things are going to, are, are we're going to see things. Yeah, there's, 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 Stories of old, of things on a grand scale happening, but we know that we are in a time that all those things that happen of old are going to pale in comparison to the, the to the grievous, horrific times that we're about to enter into, right? This is the first article. Bird flu outbreak nears worse ever in U.S. with 37 million animals dead, right? 37 million. Near is the worst ever. Okay? And this number is going to continue to climb. Right? Matthew 1. Salakia. Matthew 24. The scripture has been coming out a lot. Matthew 24. Verse. 3. And it reads... And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Right? The sign of the Mosai, Yahweh, is coming, his son, Yahweh Shai. What are the signs? When is it going to happen? When shall it be? Right? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Right, and when you look into this word world, it's eon, meaning a period or a time or an age. Right? So it's not the end of the world physically. We have to constantly bring this out. It's the end of an era or a time or a period. Right? What period are we in? Esau, Esau Edom's period. Right? The revised Roman Empire. Right? Strong's G one sixty five. I own. I own. Right? period of time age okay so we know to look out for certain signs when this period of time this age this current rulership will end and the new rulership will come in under Yahweh Shai right Matthew 24 verse 5 red letter our Lord said this for many shall come in our, for many shall come in my name saying I am Hamashiach and shall deceive and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, we're in that time. Wars and rumors of war. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, pestilences, famines. We're in that time. Right, rumors of war, proxy wars. Right, right now the main the main stage is over there in uh, uh, Ukraine, right? But there's war, there's proxy wars everywhere right now, especially in the Middle East, right? And there shall be famines. We're on the doorsteps, and pestilences. Been in it past two years, and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah, that's a regular regular occurrence, and it's only going to increase, right? Because it says here, verse eight, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Right, the beginning. And what's the end? Yahweh Shai melting this place. CNS News. April Downer. Labor force participation and number of employed people fall. Unemployment rate holds at 3.6%. Non-farm payrolls added 428,000 jobs in April. In line with the consensus estimate of around 400,000. The Labor Department Bureau of Labor Statistics reported on Friday. The number of unemployed people fell to 158 million one hundred and five thousand a decrease of three hundred fifty thousand from the prior month but the number of unemployed people those who have actively looked for work in the prior four weeks and are currently available for work also dropped by eleven thousand to five million nine hundred and forty one thousand right jobs 
right? Jobs. The April unemployment rate held steady at 3.6%, the same low rate as it was in March. But the labor force participation rate is moving in the wrong direction, right? Jobs, right? These are signs. Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19, verse 15, and it reads, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, right? Egypt, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. Sodom. Revelation 11, verse 8, tells you spiritual Egypt. You know what? Let's get it since we mentioned it. Revelation 11, verse 8, and it reads, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, right? That great city is America the Great, Babylon the Great. The spirit of Sodom is here. Spirit. The whole spirit and vibration of Sodom is here. The whole alphabet boy lifestyle is here, right? And Egypt, ancient Egypt, the spirit of ancient Egypt is here. The idol worship, the many gods, many deities, right? Where also our Lord was crucified, right? Our Lord was, was we know, according to scripture, was crucified, Right in the Middle East. Okay, this is this is talking about the the, the ways of, Ma, of Hamashiach, right? The image of Hamashiach, the judges, right? Job nine and twenty four says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges. If so, where and who is he? Right. Esau Edom did that, caught with a thing called iconoclasm. Crossed out our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Right? We'll go back. So, America the Great, Babylon the Great, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. Isaiah 19, verse 14. The Lord, Yahweh, hath Salakia. Isaiah 19, verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, America, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Right? We're seeing jobs decline, joblessness. Right? A lot of stimulus came out during the time of the the, the during the time of um the beginning of the, the the emic. People become lazy; they don't want to go back. Right? Jobs ain't there. Lockdown. Lockdown. Lockdown measures, and then back backtracking on the lockdown measures. Mandates, then no mandates. Right? These are all the signs. Ecclesiastes 12. Verse 3, verse 3, and it reads, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, right, these markets, the stock market traders, right, the markets, the forecasters, bankers, they're trembling, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, right, and why, why, why are these bankers trembling and these stock market forecasters? They're trembling because of the volatility of the markets, right? And the grinders cease, what? The grinders are the workers, because there are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened, right? The future is not too promising. Everything looks grim, right? The future don't look bright. Soaring, soaring fertilizer prices put global food security at risk, right? The price of fertilizer has gone up, right? And this is going to impact the, food, the, supply, the, 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 the supply chain of food, Right? The rolling crisis of the past few years rendered visible so many vital commodities that plenty of us never gave much thought. Nickel, silicon, chips, lumber. The latest entry into this camp, fertilizer. Why it matters? Skyrocketing fertilizer costs like those made from nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the MPK, also known as MPK, are driving up food prices and worse threatening food security around the globe. Prices of the MPK, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, were up 125% in January from a year from a year before, right? You see, and and this 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 is gonna reflect on the food chain, man. This diabolical bad madman knows 
that if if crops can't yield if crops if crops can't yield it's a conundrum right the lord's visiting this place man this is how the lord said he's going to visit this place right second Ezra 6 verse 22 and it reads and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown right the crops farmers crops suddenly shall appear unsown what does it mean sown means to plant reap means to 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 to, to, to harvest right it's going to appear like these places haven't been haven't been touched because there's nothing there's no yield nothing is coming the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty the full storehouses what are the full store what are the storehouses these food distribution centers right right trickling down into the grocery stores right the shelves are already looking empty man right scripture came to mind as quick as it came it it, it, it left me as quick as it came to my mind Lord willing will come back but but these are the times we're in soaring fertilizer prices right food prices hold near record as Ukraine war upends trade Number of people facing acute food insecurity surged 25% last year, right? And it's only going to increase. We read these are the beginning of sorrows. This is the beginning, right? Global food prices held near a record as, a, as crop trade is disrupted by the war in Ukraine, exacerbating tight supplies and stoking inflation, right? These are the times we're in, right? The Mosai Yabba Shemel Shai put the spirit on Esau, Esau, Edom, the ruling class elites, these banking families, to roll with their agenda. Ultimately, it's the Lord, Yahweh, B'Shem, Shai's agenda. But this is how the Lord visits this place. I mean, oh yeah, the scripture came back to mind. The water, Yahweh, B'Shem, Shai. This is how the Lord visits this place. Sirach 39. Right, why? You, 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 you tell this to Two thirds of people are wacky tacky to tell you no. God wouldn't do that. Sark 39, verse. Verse 28, it reads There be spirits that are created for vengeance, right? Spirits are created for vengeance by who? Yahweh, the father of spirits, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force, right? When it's go time, they, 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 they. they they, they go, right? And appease the wrath of him that made them. They please the Most High, Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai, the Father of Spirits. Verse 29, here's the point. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, right? This is how the Lord, Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai, visits this place, man. By fire, by hail, by famine, by death. Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, Punishing the wicked to destruction, right? This is how Yahweh B'Shem Yoshai gets down. He'll stick a dog on you, a wild bear, a wolf, a coyote. Right? Teeth of wild beasts. The dog dog attacks have gone up. I've been seeing constant news alerts of, of, of children being attacked by dogs. Household dogs at that. Or strange dogs. Next article. The nationwide baby formula shortage is getting worse. Right? You see that? Mothers out there who can't breastfeed no more because, because of Esau's uh, envi the, the environment that Esau uh, has, 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 has his footprint on ha has, has destroyed the natural order of things. Let's get that scripture before we go. Isaiah 24. Look at that. Woman, woman's supposed to be naturally able to breastfeed, man. They can't. Isaiah 24. Verse 
Isaiah 24 verse 4, and it reads, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and fadeth away. The hardy people of the earth do languish. Let's look in this word, languish. Right? The hardy people of the earth. Hardy is proud. Who's proud? America the Great. Language in the Hebrew Strong's H five thirty five Amal Amal Gesenius Lexicon Amal Amal or Amal Amal Khan to be weak to droop to language to be exhausted right to grow feeble right this is the state of the world today right this is the state of the people right so no woman can't breastfeed naturally this place is this place is true Isaiah 24 verse 5 the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws transgressed broken the laws what are some of the laws the earth is supposed to have a land sabbath man but we're under Esau's rule, so those laws are out the window. The earth is not being ruled in righteousness, right? Right. Every seven years, the land is supposed to the land is supposed to be rest, rested. That one thing could make a big difference. On, on uh, we wouldn't need fertilizer for one, right? Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting co covenant, right? So. This whole place is true, man. The, 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 the cycle of everything, everything is true. The, the, the animals. Right? The, animal, the animals. The ecosystem. Right? Baby formula shortage. Baby formula is getting even harder to come by at retailers across the U.S. amid a nationwide shortage of one of the most important products of new parents. At retailers across the U.S., 40% of the top-selling baby formula products were out of stock as of the week, as of the week ending April 24th, right? Out of stock, right? And this is going to increase, right? The signs, measuring the times. These, these are the times we're in. Two-thirds of our people out here don't know what time we're in. They don't. Lamentation 4, verse 9. And it reads, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, right? It's better to die by violence, a sword, sword being a modern day gun, than to starve to death, man. For these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field, right? It's a slow death, man. Your body eats itself. Pine away. Lamentation 4 verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Sod means to boil. This is what, this is what happened during 70 A.D. Right, we open with a scripture. No new thing. No, no uh, what is then will shall be again. Right, roughly paraphrasing. Right, these things are going to happen again, man. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Right, the woman, the children of Israel, ate their children during the time of the siege. Right, nationwide baby formula shortage is getting worse, and it's only going to get worse. So what's, what, what's going to happen when these women who cannot breastfeed with their newborn have nothing to give their newborn? What's going to happen? White House to make personal moves as it gears up for potential GOP investigations after mid midterms. Right, Satan against Satan. A divided house. With seven months still to go before the midterm elections, the White House is preparing a slew of personal moves as officials brace for a potential Republican takeover on Capitol Hill in November. The GOP has promised to be aggressive with its investigators of President Joe Biden should the Republicans regain control of the House and the Senate, right? Divided. Mark chapter 3. Right? All signs, man. To know what time we're in. Mark chapter three, verse twenty-three, and it reads, "And he called unto, and he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, right, red letter. Our Lord said this: How can Satan cast out Satan? 
And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great is divided. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand, right? And we know according to Scripture, according to Scripture, America the Great, Babylon the Great will be destroyed by nuclear fire, thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. This article, U.S. intelligence helped sink Russian warship reports, right? Rumors of war, right? Propaganda, he say, she say, he did this, she did that. The U.S. provided intelligence, Salakia, the U.S. provided intelligence that helped Ukraine sink the, Mos the, the Moskva, Russia's fab flagship Black Sea missile cruiser, several U.S. media reports. Let me read that again. The U.S. provided intelligence that helped Ukraine sink the Moskva, Russia's flagship Black Sea missile cruiser, several U.S. media reports. Right. Media, U.S. media reports. Unnamed officials said Ukraine had asked the U.S. about a ship sailing to the south of Odessa. The U.S. said it was the Moskva and helped confirm its location. Ukraine then struck it with missiles. Right. You see that? Right. Western reports. Right. Wars and rumors of war. Right, we open with that scripture in Matthew chapter 24. These are the times we're in. Putin to send doomsday warning to West at Russia's World War II victory parade. President Vladimir Putin will send a doomsday warning to the West when he leads celebrations on Monday, marking the 77th anniversary of the Soviet Union's victory over Nazi, over Nazi Germany, brandishing Russia's fast firepower while its forces fight on in Ukraine, right? You know, wars and rumors of war. Defiant in the face of deep Western isolation since he ordered the invasion of Russia's neighbor, Putin will speak on Red Square before a parade of troops, tanks, rockets, and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right. All right, stir up the means. Let's get that. All right, and this is all a build-up. Stir up the meads. Isaiah 13, verse 7, and it reads, Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight, delight in it. Right? The meads. Where are the meads? Russia. Kaga Magog. The Mosai Alba Shimei Shai is putting the spirit on them. Right? To bring it. Right? These are the times we're in. But yeah, that's it on that, man. All right, let me close out with a scripture. Romans 11. Romans 13, verse 11, and it reads, And that knowing the time, knowing the time, what time? We're in the time of prophecy, man. Right? The, the, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we have that number. We're observing, we're measuring the time diligently. We know what time we're in. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep, right? You two thirds, wake, wake up out of sleep, man. Because it's the beginning of, it's only going to get worse. A time like no other. Matter of fact, let's go to that. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, right? Now is our salvation nearer. So a time like no other is about to uh, about to come on us. Daniel 12, we'll close with that. Daniel 12, verse 1, and it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the archangel Michael, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, right, Israelites, Israel being a people for a place, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, the children of thy people, whose people, Yahweh, by Shem Shai. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. This time of trouble that's coming, is gonna, nothing is going to be 70 AD on steroids. It's going to be smallpox on uh, times, times, it's going to be smallpox blankets times, times seven. It's going to be chattel, it's going to be cargo slavery multiplied by, by seven. Right? Such as never was since there was a nation even to that time. Right? A time of trouble. This is what's coming. 
And th this is the beginning of the time of trouble that we're in. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Who? The elect. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, the elect shall be found written in the book. So Michael, sp Michael the archangel, spiritual intervention, miracles is, is going to be deliver the Lord's elect in that day. While all hell is breaking loose. Say pray it up. Pray it out ceasing. Kwame Ashwala. Wa. Abad. Babal. Shalom.